accomplished young lady. But the talent of watercolors is not going to strike terror into the hearts of our enemies. The prime minister. I do not agree with the noble lord that advancing years is the sole prerequisite for wisdom. I remind him of his friend Pip the Younger, who dared to his house as prime minister at the age of 24. Prime Minister is taking the young Queen's education has not gone unnoticed. Madam is so attentive to my daughter. There are apparently some women who find him attractive. I'm sure she is most appreciative of his support. Your Majesty, I wondered if I might have a word. Now, I need to change for dinner. You see, I noticed during the parade that you turned your back on the troops on a number of occasions. I'm sure it was a mistake, but according to precedent, if a sovereign turns their back on a regiment, they will no longer form part of the household cavalry. I assume this was not your intention. Indeed not. But no one mentioned it to me. I assure you they noticed, but no one likes to correct their monarch, ma'am. Except for you, evidently. I feel it is my duty. There are many things that the Baroness, being German, did not teach you. I'd be happy to help you in the future. My family have been courtiers for generations. That won't be necessary. If there are gaps in my knowledge, I have an excellent tutor in Lord Melbourne. The Duchess of Sutherland. What a pleasure to be here, Your Majesty. I thought the Duchess would make a good choice for Mistress of the Robes, ma'am. And as you know, the Duke is in the cabinet. She looks very elegant. Is she respectable? As respectable as a great lady can be, ma'am. The Lady Portman. Now, do consider Lady Portman. Her husband is Under Secretary for the Colonies and something of a booby, but she knows everyone. Lady Portman knew your father, ma'am. Such a handsome man, Your Majesty. And a very good dancer. And I must explain why I love dancing so much. Of course, there can be no dancing until the coronation. Is there to be a coronation ball then, ma'am? Yes, indeed. That is, if it isn't too expensive for them. Well, I'm hoping you'll only have the one coronation, ma'am, so I don't get an extravagance as Vanessa. She seems to be almost besotted. Sir John, might be you've been waiting for me. The Duchess is concerned about the appointment of the Queen's ladies. Yes, I believe it's the first time she's been allowed to choose her own companions. She must find it a pleasant change. So you have chosen her to be a mistress of the robes? Harriet Sutherland is charming. But she's the wife of Marlon's friend. It is not good to be so in his hands. It seems to me you've made her into a Whig puppet. It may look that way to you, Sir John. As a man who's never seen further than his own self-interest, I suppose it must, but I hold myself to a different standard. I feel I should tell you, ma'am, that at Holland House, they call you Mrs. Melbourne. The Queen is a remarkable young woman, and I consider it the greatest privilege of my career to serve her. Well, I feel I should tell you that Mamma and Sir John are known as the Conroyals. Sir John, at least, has never been involved in a case of criminal conversation with a married woman. Lord Melbourne was acquitted. I cannot look into your soul, but you are a man, and she is a very young and impressionable woman. Please, Victoria. He is someone who is clever at stealing hearts. He must not take yours. What did you take? 